Oh, God, here come who framed Roger Rabbit. Now, what the hell do you want? I got sick of you too in Memphis. Better yet, Susan, now here you come disturbing me on the Thursday. And I didn't spoil the ending on my own ass. Trying to replay it back over. I didn't miss. Yeah, I knew what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I won't do that again. Then fucked around and then seen the end and haven't seen the beginning or the middle yet. Now that's a shame right there. Now I got one question and one question only. Vivian, you had control over the situation. You had a weapon, a gun. First of all, you let Kate walk up on you with this gun. Second of all, why the hell you didn't shoot her? You was in control in that moment. Tell me again why you let Kate walk up on you, and now y'all sitting up here fighting over a gun now. I'm confused, Vivian. How does one have control of a situation and let it go that easily? With a gun, I might add. Vivian, it's time to retire. Your, your villain role is over. It, it is time to give it on up now. Yeah, tell me again, Hope, why you left evidence laying around. You just as sloppy, sloppy. You leaving evidence laying around in the, um interrogation room, leaving evidence that, okay, Hope, uh, I'm going to give you a pass this time. I guess this one time and one time only. You going through a lot, your knees going through hell, so I'm going to give you a pass, and plus you dealing with a divorce, and Rafe don't want to give you that divorce. So I'm just going to give you a pass this one time only. Don't think I'm going to continue to give you a pass. Okay, even though she deserved that, including her son, yeah, I think you fucked up. You got that way, um, ain't no telling who pulled the trigger and somehow Vivian got shot. We know she gonna be, never mind, I ain't gonna spoil it. I'm just gonna keep it to myself, but I know what's gonna happen, so. Yeah, okay, you fucked up big time. Even though she did try you, she rolled up on you with that gun. Her gig was up. She didn't want her gig to be up. You kind of did mess up a lot there, okay? And good luck making anybody believe that you innocent. Because you ain't got no way of proving it. Well, Abigail, I'm glad to see you back. I'm glad you realized you fucked up your friend in prison. She ain't commit the crime. You trying everything you can to get her out. Yeah. She gonna get out, but not right now, unfortunately, Abigail. And welcome back, I guess. I'm glad you feeling well, and now you realize what you done, and you kind of fucked up, and you trying to, I understand, and I'm, I'm glad you finally doing that, Abigail, though, but the damage already been done, sweetheart. I mean, there's another conviction on this woman Um, already on um, criminal record. She already got one. Now, this is the second. Not only that, she is um basically a murderer and um a criminal, just like her brother and her daddy. So, yeah, Abby, Gabby ain't really got no good past anyways, and this conviction in hip pregnant. Ooh, poor Gabby, I feel so bad for you. You a good girl, and you got a criminal record. I mean, your criminal record is horrible. I mean, absolute, ooh. Maybe one day you can get that that sponge, I guess, and start over fresh. But get at Gabby, ooh, your coming a record is a hot ass mess. Oh, oh, okay. So now it's making sense to what I side the end of this episode. So they want ideas, or basically, we are writing this article about this miracle drug that brought him back from the jaws alive. So, he wanted information, contacted Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit come telling him, I tried to get the information for you. I tried to talk to Susan. She shut up as soon as I mentioned um, Dr. Whatever that Dr. name, Rolf. So, he went spying in her stuff. He found the book. and Oh, okay, it makes sense. Makes perfect sense what I started in because I was so confused. About. I'm like, what is that, a needle? Then I said... Yeah, I'll explain it later what I saw and, and how I knew that. 
2K, all I can say is it doesn't look bad. It, Oh, Jesus, can't you finna go down for murder? You and Gabby finna be in the same damn prison. Abigail, I see you trying to help your friend. I commend you or whatever, though, but throwing yourself under the bus like this, knowing we got a crazy-ass DA that's willing to... Yeah, I don't think you're ready for DA. I think she might make you end up losing your damn mind all over again. Then you go busting her across the head, because... She is a bitch. She really is one. And Abigail, I hope you don't never have to face her. I'm just saying because she will come at you any way she can just to get a conviction in. Yeah, back to the bitch part. She's a bitch. And you got a very colorful past. I see her using all that to her advantage. To, using that to her advantage to get her feel side up ready for war. Meaning sending you to prison. So, Abigail, I hope they don't prosecute but never, ever, 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 ever meet D.A. Trash. Because she will make you snap. Because she didn't make me snap several times. Because I know you're not ready for her. Yeah, you just got better now. And I hate to see you go against that bull. Because she a bully and she wouldn't mind. She wouldn't care that you sick or none of that or just not getting... Well, I don't know if you better or not. So, well... Um, Let's just say she wouldn't give a damn about your state of mind right along now. She'll just want that conviction in now. Oh, look who cares about their mama all of a sudden. But yet when it came to Gabby, you didn't give a damn about throwing your mama in the tunnel. That she could have possibly died in. Oh, now we give a damn now that she didn't got shot and could possibly... Well, she gonna die. She gonna be revived back to life. So, well, now you give a damn now. I'm just saying, Stephen, you didn't give a damn back then, so why do you care so much now? I'm just curious to know why you care so much all of a sudden now. Now that you realize you didn't lost Gabby, and that was a figment of your imagination, now you realize it was the only thing you got left, and you decide you want to cherish that moment with your mother. So now all of a sudden, now you want to pretend like you care about your mother again. Boy, bye. Oh, so you and Paul together will, huh? You might want to talk to Paul about this, you and him together now, because as he stated, we are just friends. We just seeing each other, I think, if I remember him saying it correctly. Also, y'all together. Yeah, well, Paul think otherwise. He think y'all just having fun at the moment. So you might want to consult your boo and tell him to get a scrape next time, because... Y'all got two conflicted stories that I don't know which one to believe at the moment, but it did sound kind of funny for you to say that, and he said something else, though. Kate, what are you doing besides telling this man what the hell happened and how y'all got into this situation and how she laying on the ground almost, well, dead, technically? You sitting up here playing like you some victim, sitting up here with no tears going down your eyes, Sitting up here trying to tell Rafe how hell it was down there in that tunnel. But yeah, we know your ass big and strong at this. And we know Vivian that... Kate, who you playing with? You and Rafe had a thing before, remember? Rafe know how strong you are. And Rafe know you don't take no shit. So how hard was it down there with Vivian? Come on now, Kate. Now stop making an ass out yourself and... I see why you're going to be gone for a couple of months now. Is this the best you can do? Is this the best performance you can give me? Well, you deserve whatever going to happen to you then, Kay. Because you're no victim. You don't take no shit for nobody. Hell, how many times have you didn't try to fuck Stephanie up but failed? Now, you know it and I know it and Rafe know it and everybody else that know. You know you don't take no shit for nobody. So how hard was it down there, down there with Vivian? It can't be too damn hard and we know your ass strong and tough and you love to fight back, so... Kate... Okay, Kate, go ahead and just sell yourself on down the river. Say hey to Gabby while you in there, because that's exactly what you going that you keep this shit up. Uh-oh. She said she keep on seeing Stephen. She said, what does that mean? 
did Gabby and Stephanie have something going on? Because every time I think of something, I'm seeing Stephanie as, why do I keep on seeing this pervert in my dreams, in my, me in my memories? So now Chad got to explain this to her, which is probably going to freak her out even more than she was before, so... Be gentle with her, Chad. Be gentle, I guess. So this book is not helpful at all. And we already knew he was obsessed with Steph. And now who don't know that Dr. Rolf, Rolf, however the hell you say his name, was obsessed with Steph. And now that's why he did all that stuff for Steph. And now brainwashing, putting the chip in Hope head, um, brainwashing um, John. What else he did with, yeah, he fucked John completely up. Fucked him up in Hope Up. Had her thinking she was a princess or whatever land she was from. <sighs> this diary seems like it's a waste of, time, waste of time. Hopefully there's something in it, I guess, maybe. The rabbit wasted his damn time for nothing. I'm guessing maybe. If we lucky. Oh, threat stuff and threats. Boy, if you don't sit down somewhere, haven't you already done enough between Abigail and Gabby and Dr. Lori and not being a pervert? Haven't you then done enough already committing crimes, cleaning up crimes, or call yourself? Help me, yeah, it's time for you to have several damn seats somewhere for Chad to get his hands back on you again. And this time, I'm going to cheer him on. Also, we finally find something. Well, not really. The night we are died. And I guess the night he's back alive again. I'm guessing maybe. <sighs> yeah, this sounds like a whole lot of waste to me. And it's just a waste of time and energy. And Roger just wanted to be on TV, I guess, again. This don't sound like it's very interesting. Oh, makes sense. It makes perfect sense. He was alive. He really didn't die that night on um, being strangled him. He was still alive and kicking. Doctor um that doctor gave Will some medicine that'll stop your heart and all that to make it seem like you did. Yeah, okay. I can tell Doctor uh, that doctor's sick enough to do some shit like that to make his family go through some mess like that and Plus, he working on a Stefano dime, even though Stefano is dead, so I'm not surprised. And I'm also not surprised that he brought back Vivian alive neither, so not surprised, no shocker there. Vivian, Stefano, it makes sense. Yup, this is about where I seen it. Way um, Kayla told um, Stefan that she was dead, find out she's not really too damn dead, so... Yeah, I didn't see most of all of that, so let's see how this go, I guess. See what's in between this part, I guess. Oh, God. So you saying goodbye to your mother. You said she tried to make you leave town. You didn't want to. You want to stick around for a figment of your imagination. Now you want to go out to Kate Thomas and you're going to... Yeah, I knew you was going to stick around for longer. I was hoping you was going to get the hell out of town. Unfortunately, your ass wasn't going to leave town like that. Abigail, you might feel secure and safe around Chad. I don't know how I feel about that. This ain't happened on his watch how many times now, too. You might feel secure and safe. I don't feel safe and secure knowing that you on the lose and knowing that Chad supposed to be watching you because he didn't let this shit happen and you won too many times. And I'm scared there's going to be a third time and I'm not ready to deal with Dr. Lori and Gabby all over again. I'm just sorry. I don't want to see them never, ever again. Yeah, that diary was a waste of time, space, energy. You couldn't barely understand what he read on the paper. You had to scratch your eyes to see. He bringing back Vivian alive right now as we can. Well, I think he bringing her back like he done will. 
Star Park Hard and then bring her back to life again. I hope he don't bring her back to life because I don't want this Vivian. This water down the Vivian, I don't like her. Anyway, so y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, comment, it. <laughs> don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.